We are deep into the redo of last year's full deck challenge, and we are now on the Six of Diamonds. To the left is what I did last year. To the right is what we're going to do today. Last year I was using a lot of scrapbooking paper, ephemera that other people made. This year I'm doing it all on my own. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take just a moment, subscribe to my channel, and of course that thumbs up helps me exponentially and the comments I love to see enjoy reading them and I try to get back to you as soon as possible let's get started on the six of diamonds by pulling some scrap paper out of the bin underneath my workbench as you all know we tend to save every piece that we put paint on and I have quite a full container underneath my feet this is the one that I have chosen for the background. We'll put that into position, trim off the card. And I went to expose that six of diamonds. So I shall place my tear ruler that I made out of the plastic. Still have not found that metal tear ruler. I'm <laughs> hoping that it will turn up here soon. And I've chosen this gold to create the first pocket. Fold that in half, position it, glue that paper together so it's not movable. Turn that over, trim it off, and then I shall glue it down on two sides to create that little corner pocket. I want to crisscross a pocket across that and then pull in the same color that we used for the background. Fold that in half, or just fold it over, position it where I want, flip that card over and draw around the outside edge of the card so I know where to cut. Now we'll just trim and we'll glue that down. So now we have the two pockets in place and to create the ephemera for the tag. So I have this thin die and I created the, the little flower-like shapes out of that die, out of the gold. We'll glue that down here on the corner of the top pocket. And now to make some ephemera for the card. I'm going to start with the gold and just glue that down to a file folder scrap to give it a little more substance. And this was just a gold brayer off sheet. If I can get my glue to come out of the tube, I'll just glue that down. I'm going to pick one of these thin lit dies for a little tag shape. And I'll take that off to the big shot and run it through. I'm choosing a another color to add some additional ephemera and I think I will choose to make a larger flower and maybe add some color to our existing flower with a small die cut. You can see the larger flower that I cut and now I'm just placing a tiny little flower punch in the center to just define define the color. So the, the darker pink is getting the gold and the gold is getting the darker pink in the center and we're going to do the same thing on the little tag that we made. So we did three die cuts, two of the flowers in different sizes and the tag and then we pulled out the punch 
to decorate in the opposite color the three die cuts. Inking around the outside edge with Vintage Photo around the outside edge of the card. And now to determine how we're going to adhere the tag to the card. I'm going to punch a little star hole up in the corner. Grab a brad and just position that through the hole and just hold that tag in place on the top right hand corner of the card. And there, I think we have it finalized. So this is the 2022 rendition of the Six of Diamonds against the 2021. This year we made our own ephemerae. Last year we used purchased scrapbooking paper. I think the difference this year is subtle. I like using things that I made rather than scrapbooking paper. That's personal choice. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. The playlist for the entire Full Deck Redo is listed right here if you want to catch up on the first suite and up to the Six of Diamonds in this. Your thumbs up help me, and I always enjoy your comments. Thanks so much.